For this demonstration of rig to U5, we're going to use an already created rig character. We're going to export it using the FBX to U5 export option button that we have. And then we will visit Quick Magic AI. Quick Magic AI helps you to create a motion capture FBX file from a video. So I'm going to trim this video and I'm going to use it with a short time drag and drop it into the interface in the AI mocap and now that you have your targets identified you can drag and drop the FBX character click next and now we're going to select the full body hand a pose and just click generate now after three minutes you can review your results this also detects multiple characters and can help you create better motion captures Okay, after three minutes, we have our motion capture here. However, we have an issue because the camera seems to be tracking an up and down movement. However, we're going to download it. Click on the download. We're going to get the zip file. And if you have already a uh, clean mocap, you can skip this section. Drag and drop the FBX into Blender. In this case, it's 4.3. Select this um, pelvis bone. This is the one that is causing the issue, as you can see right here. It is the X location that has these bumps, but we're going to butter smooth them by going into key Alt S and then smooth them. I'm going to select the X location curve and then Shift H to hide all other curves because I'm going to only work on this one. Then after selecting these keyframes, Alt S and then select butter smooth option. From there, you can ease out all of the curves by using T and then Spline, or in this case, Bezier. And from there, we have our FBX ready. It's been cleaned. I'm going to select it all. And then I'm going to use the file export the regular FBX settings. I'm just going to target this file, selected objects, armature, mesh, and then just click export FBX. It's just a generic FBX. So now we have our rig to U5 FBX character ready and also our mockup. Come into Unreal Engine, right click import assets. And once you open it, leave everything as it is. You don't need to change anything. Just click import and bring your rig to U5 character exported. Double click on it and as you can see it's the same exact pose that we have in Blender. So that's great. All right. So right click on this, create, come to IK rig and now you will see this yellow line in the asset. Double click it to open the IK rig setup. And then you click here auto create IK and then auto create chains. This will give you an automatic 100% accuracy to work with the retargeter. That's it, this is the required asset to work with the retargeter. Now let's bring in our Quick Magic FVX import. So I'm going to create a new folder, open a new folder and import your mocap file. We're going to import the original uh, volley file. Okay, so just click import. This will bring the character, the mesh, and also the FBX animation. And you can see right here, it is not good. It still jumps up and down. That's the old one, okay? So let's bring the new one. I'm going to delete everything so that nothing is confusing. I'm going to bring the fixed one, volleyball jump fixed on real. That's the one that I'm interested in. That's the one we exported from Blender. I'll leave everything as it is. This is the great part about um, working in Unreal and Blender, you can do this uh, with the add-on as well. Okay, so here it is. I'll double click on this animation file, which is represented with a green line for the asset. And this is my corrected FBX motion capture. This is the one that we're going to use for the retargeter. Okay, now that we have those two things, we're going to import yet another new uh, quick magic AI mocap, but this time we're going to click on import only animations and the skeleton target should be this one. So with all of that said, just click on import and it will not bring any other meshes. It will only bring the animations. This is important because you're going to constantly bring mocap animations from quick magic AI. So keep this in mind and all of them will accumulate under the same model, the first model that you brought. 
All right, so let's close this. Now you know how this works. Let's go back to the main folder again. Right click over an empty space, type IK and select IK retargeter. This, the IK retargeter module is represented by this blue color that you see right here. Double click on this and then on the source, we're going to select the IKU4 mannequin. Select it, press F to focus it. Now move just a little bit outside. Now on this target, we're going to use the IK rig that we previously created with just two clicks. All right, so target mesh offset 120. This is so that we can see both characters at the same time. And since Bay was exported in an X pose, this is why you see her leg a little bit weird. But if you click here on the running uh, retarget, we're going to switch to edit retarget. And this is what we want. Click here, align all bones, and this will immediately set your character into the position that we're going to use. Uh, for the retarget mocap. It is important that both characters have the same starting position. This is why we're doing this. All right, so now we're going to replace the source by dragging and dropping this pink asset into the um, preview mesh. And it will bring automatically its two animations. Okay, so that's, that's great. Now let's click once again into the running retarget to switch to edit retarget the blue square is around the viewport, click auto align and now type foot because we need to rotate both feet. Make sure that snapping is available, it's active and let's just move the feet so that way both feet are aligned to the ground. This is something super comfortable. You don't have to do much else other than aligning both feet to the floor level. And once you're done, click here on editing so that you can go back into the running retargeter. From there, double click any of the two animations that you have available for the same character. And now you can see that your animation plays without an issue. This is a great retarget. It has been clean in Blender. And now we're going to export it as the character's own animation. And that's why we're going to click here, export selected animations. We're going to create a new folder called animations and just click export. It's going to confirm this. Just click export once again. And now if you see this pop up, you will see that in the animation directory, please save this. Don't forget to save, close this. Let's go into that animation folder. And if you double click that animation, you're going to see that now the character owns the animation. This is the point of retargeting. The IK rig is important so that we can retarget any animations from any other character into our own character. In the next video, we'll talk about the control rig and how we can bake animations from the viewport.